Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and I'm coming to you at 1 a.m. on Friday the 17th of January. That may be the future for some of you guys, and if you're wondering what the future is like, well, we're still here. Climate change hasn't got us yet, but it is trying. Particularly here in Australia where we are being affected by devastating bushfires. A lot of my friends have lost their homes, tens of thousands of people have been evacuated, five million hectares of land has burnt, and over half a billion animals have died. It's been absolutely devastating for me to see, and I want to do everything that I can to help those that have been affected by the bushfires. So, if you saw yesterday's video, you would have seen that I am hosting a fundraiser in Sydney tomorrow, because it's Friday morning now, even though it's 1 a.m. Technically it is tomorrow. Saturday the 18th of January in Chatswood, Sydney. I'm going to be hosting a fundraising event to raise money for the victims of the bushfires and for animal rescue organizations and also for our firefighters as well. As you can see behind me, there are racks and racks and racks of clothes. Now, these are all the clothes that I will be selling, plus more, which I'm about to show you. I have 20 racks, I believe. And I've got racks of brand new clothing that companies have donated. I have racks of brand new clothing that I haven't got around to filming yet. I have racks of clothing of mine from a couple of years ago before I was on YouTube. I've got a Dolls Kill rack, a Pretty Little Thing rack, a Misguided rack, a Yes Style rack, a Boohoo rack, a rack of a bunch of clothing I've bought in Japan over the years. There's gonna be a Cool Shirts rack. Now Cool Shirts is a local Australian brand and they've sent me a huge amount of amazing pastel clothing that I can sell at the event. They donated that so 100% of the sales are going straight to the charities. I also have a bunch of clothing here from Verge Girl which is another Australian clothing company. They've sent me a bunch of stuff too. Here I have a huge amount of accessories that have come from various local Australian designers. These are so exciting. I'm, I, I can't wait to show you guys what's in these parcels here. I basically just wanted to show you guys some of the items that have been donated for the charity event. So anyone that's coming can see what to expect at the event, but also to tell anyone that's overseas that might be interested in buying Australian products, some of my favorite Australian companies. So without further ado, if you're in Sydney and you wanna to come to the event, it's on Saturday, January 18th, in Chatswood at the concourse at the Civic Pavilion. There's a link in my description box below. You can register for the event. You don't need a ticket or anything to come in. It's a free event. But if you do register, I'm gonna be doing giveaways throughout the day just to say thank you to people for coming. I've got like $500 worth of makeup that I'm giving away throughout the day. And uh, you can only enter the giveaway if you register for the event. So you just head to the link down below and then it'll just take you to the page. You can just click walk in at any time. It'll ask you for your email address. And then once I've got all the names, I'm gonna be going through on the day and picking some winners to win some makeup. So uh, anyway, I've also got a link for a GoFundMe down below for anyone that wants to show their support, but maybe you're not in Sydney or maybe you're not in Australia. We've raised $19,000 so far, which is mind blowing. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone that's donated. Now, some people pointed out the fact that GoFundMe doesn't let you donate a dollar, which is really, really annoying, but I do want you guys to know all the ad revenue from today's video is also being donated, as well as the ad revenue from the other two videos that I've posted this month. So even if you can't donate on GoFundMe, you do have other ways that you can still show your support. So with that, let's have a look at some of the goodies that I've been sent by companies that I can sell at the fundraiser. Okay, so first up, let's have a look at this box that's arrived from Do Doodad and Fandango. Now Doodad and Fandango is an Australian brand. It's run by a lady called Nikita. I met her once at an event a couple of years ago and she sent me some custom earrings for free and they are so beautiful. She's so talented. She makes these herself. They're acrylic. I don't know what she's sent, but I'm very excited to see. These are made right here in Sydney. Oh my gosh, these are huge. I saw a photo of these on Instagram and I didn't expect that they would be so big. They are so cool. They're like beetles, but they've got lilac colored wings. They're stud earrings and they attach at the top with this love heart. Oh wow, these are so pretty. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, look how stunning they are. These are like a lilac colored flower. She definitely nailed the uh, pretty pastel theme of the event because both of these with the beautiful purple, they fit in perfectly with my color schemes. These flower earrings, I love. I'm gonna have to pick up a pair of these myself too. It blows my mind that these are handmade. 
They're so beautiful. The quality is absolutely amazing. If you guys are interested in seeing some of her other products, head to her website and definitely keep an eye out for these at the event. Someone is gonna fall in love with these. I just know it. Next up, we have a little parcel from Saturday Lollipop. Saturday Lollipop is based in Victoria and it's run by Ellie. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Okay, so Millie and Tiasha put me onto this brand. She makes the most adorable food themed accessories. If you're an Australian kid, you will know rainbow paddle pops. Here we have some rainbow paddle pop earrings. These are Paula McClay. They are so cute. These are handmade in Melbourne. She's also sent avocado stud earrings. How adorable are they? There's also little whiz fizz earrings. And I'm trying to, trying to comprehend how how she got that to be so small. I don't understand how she's made these, it's so cool. And she's also sent these super sweet little donuts. All four of these are absolutely adorable, so thank you so much, Ellie. Next up, we have a box from Bubble Cat Designs. Bubble Cat Designs is run by Cat, and she's based up in Queensland. She has sent, oh, we have a little postcard here. It says, hey Alex, thank you so much for hosting this event and for letting me be a part of it. I hope everything I've included does well and you raise lots of money for charity. I've included a little present for you too. Wrapped separately on top, hope you love it. Love Cat, PS, I'd love to work with you in the future. I love your work. Thank you, Kat. We'll be in touch. So, I'm guessing this must be the one that she said she sent for me. Mm, so cute. Really? Really? Is this for me? I've included a present for you two, wrapped separately on top. Okay. We'll have a look at that later. I literally, I, I have chills, like, pro, like proper actual chills looking at this. This is so crazy. Holy crap. Okay, where do I start? I think I have to start with Baby Yoda. <laughs> These are so beautiful. It says handmade in Brisbane by Kat. How? Look at the, look how intricate these little Baby Yoda stud earrings are. These are so cute. I love Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda is the best thing to grace our screens this century. And now he's been turned into stud earrings. Oh my God, I love them. Okay, I see rainbows. She sent these acrylic rainbow earrings. All of these are handmade by her cat. Everything that I'm showing you, these are so beautiful. These are, wow, look how stunning these are. These are so, I love them. I love them so much, you guys. These are insane. We've also got these. These look like, I'm gonna say little pastel UFOs. This color scheme with the pink and the yellow and the sort of turquoise, blue and purple, that's my favorite color scheme of all time. It actually matches a lot of the candles that I made to sell at the event. These are so precious. We have little gummy bear stud earrings. We have... <laughs> this... I think this is my favorite. These are acrylic love hearts that say garlic bread. <laughs> You're a genius, cat. You are literally a genius. <laughs> we have these cute little earrings. They're black and pink love hearts. We've got a couple of these little pink stars. We have these a very feminine black stud love heart earrings. Oh, these are so cute little star hanging off an orange circle. We have the feminine earrings, but with a white love heart. <laughs> this is, this is Ebi Sushi, prawn sushi, with a cute little face. <laughs> oh wow, iridescent love hearts, unicorns. Oh, they're so cute. Oh wow, these are really cool. I don't even know how to describe these, but they're just, very arty. This is a little Japanese fox head. We've got three corgi brooches, an adorable dinosaur brooch. <gasps> oh, the pumpkin, <laughs> he's so cute. 
Oh, I love this. Speaking of cute, this is a giant cutie love heart pin. We also have these cute little green guys. Archie's going to be very sad that he slept through this. Yes, he's, he's in bed at the moment. He's got a little perch next to our bed and he goes and flies in there when he's ready to go to sleep. I went to go get him and I opened the door and he was sound asleep and I didn't want to disturb him. It is 1 a.m. after all, but uh, he would have he very much appreciated these. And then this guy, <laughs> oh my God, he's so cute. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away. Thank you so much, Kat. Everyone at the event is going to love these so much. This is hundreds of dollars worth of stuff here. Oh my God, I just, I can't, I can't get over the garlic bread. The garlic bread, it's so good. Okay, so that's everything that Kat sent for the event. You guys are gonna freak out when you see this stuff in person. And then I'll also have a look at what she sent for me. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so she sent these earrings for me, these lollipop earrings. These little gummy bear earrings. Oh my God, they are amazing. <laughs> but, and a cat getting abducted by a UFO. These designs are absolutely incredible and they are made so well. I can't stress that to you guys enough. Outside of the charity event, if you're interested in buying some beautiful handmade jewelry, this is incredible. The quality of this stuff is so amazing. You're so, ta oh, you're so talented, Kat, I'm freaking out. Thank you so much to Bubble Cat Designs. By the way, all the links are gonna be in the description box below. If you can't get here for the event and you just wanna check out the brands, I highly recommend that you do. We have some very talented artists here in Australia and I'm so excited for you guys to see these on the day at the event. This stuff is incredible. This next box is from Yippie Whippy. Yippie Whippy is run by Nicole and she's up in Queensland as well. Wow, this is another big box. Oh. <laughs> Okay, these are little planet earrings. We have a moon and a sun. We have a cloud and a sun. Oh, these are so cool. These are, I love, I just, I love the simplicity of this design. These are just little swirls and the colors are my, my favorite color combination. I actually made some candles in this exact color combination too. These are so cute. We also have these for anyone that likes more bold colors. Oh my gosh, there is so much in here. I think what I'm gonna do is just run through it all with a little bit of music for you guys to enjoy. It just blows my mind that these things are handmade. It actually blows my mind. People are so incredibly talented. I don't know how they do it. Some of the work on these items, it's so intricate. I don't know how they do it. Oh, I love these so much. It's gonna be very difficult for me to not buy a bunch of stuff at my own charity event. I have seen so many things that I want already. Oh my God. Ah, oh, what is this animal called? <clears throat> I can't remember the, what's the name? Cap, capybara, capybara. Haha, <laughs> I win the trivia this evening. This is indeed a sparkly capybara. Where in the world would you ever find capybara earrings? That's just incredible. <gasps> waddle, waddle, waddle. Till the very next day, bum, 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 ba -dum. Oh my God, I want these. Oh, I want these so bad. Wow, that was a roller coaster. That was wild. This stuff is so cool. Thank you so much, Nicole. These items are incredible. We are going to raise so much money for charity with your contribution. I cannot thank you enough. Guys, go check out Yippie Whippy. Nicole is so talented. I, I just, I can't believe I, I can't believe that these things are handmade. It makes me so sad to think that 
Oh my god, I'm about to get, I'm about to get deep. Recently, uh, I bought some stuff from Pretty Little Thing. It's actually, everything on this rack behind me is from Pretty Little Thing. And I got a bunch of accessories. And the accessories were, they were pretty cheap, I would say. You know, maybe like between five and 15, five and 20 dollars or so. This stuff is nice, it's all right, but there's no meaning behind it, you know? It's just mass produced, fast fashion. The money is just going into a company that's like a, a multi, multi-million dollar company. Looking at this stuff and looking at just the amount of talent out there, jewelry makers in Australia, these are young people in Australia that are working so hard and they are so talented and I almost feel like going into 2020, I really wanna pay so much more attention to local brands. If you're looking for jewelry for yourself or if you're looking for gifts, I highly recommend that you, you look at Etsy or you look at your local stores, you go to markets, things like that. There's so much undiscovered talent out there. I hope that if you see this stuff and you love what you see, please go show support to these brands. They have all been so kind by making these donations. They gave me this stuff completely free. All of the brands that I've showed you so far, they, they gave me all this stuff for free. 100% of the sales are going to bushfire relief charities. Such a generous thing to do, and I can't thank you guys enough. I hope everyone that's coming to the event falls in love with these items. You uh, may have to fight me off some of them, because like those duck earrings, I want them so bad. And the last thing that I want to show you ugh, is this huge parcel from Verge Girl. Now Verge Girl, it's a funny story, this is such a cool clothing brand. I love these guys so much. I found them on Instagram and I fell in love with them and followed them because their feed was just so aesthetic. They take these really beautiful photos of their clothes on the mannequins and they match them really, really nicely. Anyway, one day I went to buy something off the website and it was sold out. So I thought, oh, I'll just send them a message on Instagram and ask when it's going to be back in stock. And when I clicked on their profile and I clicked send message, there was actually a message there that they had sent me, but they'd sent it like five months before. It basically said, hey, we love your Instagram and we would love to work with you. Send us an email if you want to collab. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I missed that for one. <laughs> And uh, two, I couldn't believe that they wanted to work with me. They're such a cool company. Anyway, so I sent them an email about my fundraiser and just said, oh, look, I'm hosting this fundraiser. If you have any stock that you could possibly donate that we could sell, that'd be great. And they've sent me this massive parcel. Now they've sent these things in a range of sizes. I know some people that are coming to the event have been contacting me and saying, oh, Alex, is everything just going to be your size? I do have a range of sizes available because I've got clothes of mine from a couple of years ago when I was probably like a size 16 and then I've got size 14 and 12 and 10. Um, I've also got a bunch of clothes from videos that Tiasha and I have made together. Those things are probably like a 14 to 16. I've also got clothes that companies have sent. So this parcel here from Verge Girl. There's also a massive parcel coming from Cool Shirts and there's a huge range of clothing sizes in there too. Let's have a look in here. Let's see what they sent. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So we have this dress. They've sent this one in a size 8. This is such a nice summery dress. I love the cut of this so much. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard to not buy things at my own fundraiser. <laughs> if anyone that comes sees me reaching for anything and going to buy it, you need to chippy slap me. You need to be like, stop! No! You don't need any more clothes! Oh, this is so pretty. This is also an 8. This is a top with a v-neck. It's got some little buttons down the front and what I like most, look at the sleeves. I love that they cinch in and then they flare out. This design is so pretty. It's green with little flowers. Ah, oh, I love everything. Ooh, we have some red. This is a size 10. This looks like it's so comfy. I love the material. It's this really, really stretchy, super stretchy material at the back here. Wow, this looks like it's gonna be so comfortable. I love red clothes with white flowers on them. I just think it's such a pretty combination. They've sent a lot of florally things. I think perfect for summer. I see more flowers. This is a size six. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I can totally imagine this with a white turtleneck underneath and a beret or something. That's in winter and then in summer, just on its own. With some sneakers, this would be so cute. Ooh, what have we got here? Crisp white. Oh, I've been, this is on my wish list. I've been eyeing this off. So this, look at this, this is really cool. So this is like a ruffle dress. It ruffles down the front and it's puffy, got big puffy sleeves. Man, I almost, I almost want to try it on to show you guys what it looks like, but also I want to keep this stuff brand new. I'll put some pictures up on the screen if I can find them. I really like that this is quite thick. They've sent this in a size eight. This is such a stunning dress. This with some mules, like strappy mules. Ah, oh, so good. And a tiny little handbag. I love it. 
Ooh, what's this? Look at this lovely smock top. Oh, this looks like it'd be so nice to wear in summer. It's linen and it's really, really light. It's got long sleeves that sort of cinch in. And it's got little frilly details all over the back. It's also very, very long. Ooh, I see more florals again. Oh, this, wow. Wow, this feels so nice. Okay, so this is a size 12. Oh, wow. I love it. Look, how pretty is that? This is an off-the-shoulder dress. It's like, really interesting. It's got this little slit just here that probably sits around here, just shows a little bit of skin. This design is so pretty. I love the green with the white flowers. Really nice length too. And again, it's made of the super, super stretchy fabric too. So even though this is a size 12, this would probably also stretch to a 14. Oh, cute. This one says it's a size 8, but I reckon this is a bit bigger than a size 8. This is a really cute little crop top. This is a size 12. This is a skirt. Has these really adorable little pink flowers all over it. It's got buttons going all the way down the center at the front. Oh, here we go. This is the same print as that one, but a very slightly different shade of green. Oh, this looks nice. What's this? This is a size 10. Oh, cute. Look, this is a really, really long long maxi dress and it ties up at the shoulders. I love the neckline on this. Oh my gosh, this is so long. Look at, look how long this is. I love maxi dresses and this has a double layer in it too. It's got like a white la linen layer on the inside. I can imagine this dress getting snapped up very quickly. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I can't get over that, that's so pretty. Ooh, oh, okay. So this is a size 14. This is a wrap dress by the looks of it. It looks like with the strings, you just wrap it around like that. Oh, this feels so nice. This is really, really nice fabric. Again, with wrap dresses, sizing is pretty flexible too. Okay, this is a size eight. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like, a, I think you call it a peasant top. So it's off the shoulder, off the shoulder, and it's got these lovely sleeves that kind of bunch up with a little bit of a flare at the base of them. It's got big sort of puffy shoulder areas, and it's got buttons running all the way down the front. This sort of thing is so pretty with a skirt or even with jeans. I adore this and it's got these very fine little holes in it too. So in summer, it's more breathable. Ooh, wow. This is a cute little smock dress, again with the floral patterns. Before I forget to tell you, we also have some clothing coming from a company called Berserk, which is a really cool like goth alternative kind of clothing company here in Australia. That stuff hasn't arrived yet. It should be arriving today. Bear in mind it is 2 a.m. So I'm guessing that when the post office is open and I head there, I should find the stuff there. So the cool shirts order and the berserk order should be there. So there's going to be even more clothing than what I'm showing you now. They're also sending things in a range of sizes too. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, pants. Okay, these pants are a size eight. These are like leopard print pants. They look like they're flared on the bottom. Oh, those are really, really cool. Oh, I want these so bad. <laughs> oh, I want them so bad. They've got pockets on the back too. And they look like they're significantly high-waisted. Oh my God, whoever buys these, please come up to me. If you buy these on the day, please come find me and say, look, Alex, I bought your favorite pants. I want to know who the lucky person is. We've got, oh, same pants again. No, these aren't the same. No, these aren't. Okay, I thought they were the same, but these are same print, but these are a skinny leg. These are more like a, a classic trouser cut. More florals. This is a size 10. Oh, okay. This looks like, hmm, how does this work? There's a lot of straps going on here. Looks like it's a halter neck, but then it's also got a couple of other straps too. I think that your arms probably go through those straps there. This is quite long. I don't know if it's as long as, no, it's, it's not as long as this one, but it's still a very long dress. Really cute colors. I love the yellows. It's got little orange flowers, yellow flowers, green flowers. We've got, ooh, wow. This is a size eight. Looks like it could fit a size 10 as well. This is a little crop top that sort of has um, hook details at the front, running all the way down the front. It's a lacy top. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, Verge Girl really nails the off the shoulder tops. Look how nice this is. Oh, I love the look of this so much. And it's also got this kind of like rubbery detail on the inside that helps the sleeves to stay up so they don't fall down, so that they sit in place. This one is quite stretchy. This is a size eight, but it's very, very stretchy. We've got a skirt. This is a size 10. This is a delightful skirt. 
This looks like it's high waisted. It looks very stretchy. We have some more leopard print. This is a leopard print skirt in a size six. And we have that same skirt I showed you before in a size 12. Wow, that was a lot. This whole rack that I have here, it looks so beautiful with all the florals and the whites and the greens. So that's it for now, guys. When I get to the post office later today, I'll be picking up the other things that we can sell at the fundraiser. If you have any spare time on Saturday and you're in Sydney, I highly encourage you to come along. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. We've got new clothes. We've got clothes you've seen in my videos. We've got my handmade candles. You can see the video where I made those candles. I posted it a couple of days ago. We'll have baked goods. We're going to have some artwork, a photo photo booth, a caricature artist, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things. So please come down to Chatswood, show your support for the Bushfire fundraiser. Also, please have a look at the links down below. Please have a look at these companies that have sent stuff. All of these companies, they so kindly donated all of these things for free. Please check them out and give them some love. Follow them on social media. If they do international shipping, pick yourself up some Australian designs. So with that, can't wait to see you guys on Saturday if you're coming to the event. And if you're not, please check out my GoFundMe. If you can't afford to donate, like I mentioned earlier, all the ad revenue from this video is going straight to the charities that we choose. Leave your opinions down below about the charities that you want to see me donate to. There's been a lot of people asking me to donate to wildlife rescue in Victoria, which I will definitely do because the New South Wales Wildlife Rescue has received a lot of money in donations, but in Victoria, their wildlife service hasn't received anywhere near as much. So leave comments down below. Let me know how you want me to divide up the funds. We've almost raised $20,000 on GoFundMe already. If everyone that watches this video can donate a couple of dollars, we will raise... Oh, okay, look. Let's say this video only gets 50,000 views. So that's 50,000 people, right? So let's say everyone donates $5. That would be $250,000, guys. Just wrap your head around that. That sort of money can go toward food, medical supplies, medication, and vet bills for the wildlife that's been affected in Australia. Like I said, we've lost half a billion animals so far, and there's a lot of animals out there that these wildlife rescue organizations are picking up and they're rehabilitating them and they're nursing them back to health. And imagine, imagine if we get 50,000 views and everyone donates $5, $250,000. That money can make such a huge difference, you have no idea. So anyway, I'll leave that with you guys. It's completely up to you, but if you can't donate, have a look at my other videos too. All the ad revenue from my January videos will be donated. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you on Saturday. If you're coming to the event, please register down below to enter the giveaways too, because I'll be picking people on the day that have registered. I'll be giving away heaps of makeup. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.